good, right? Okay. So now I've had to bone up and actually had to, had to listen. I, I was forced. I had to listen to some of your shows, and you know, I'm thinking, wow, this is interesting. This guy is genuinely curious about things. You you really are genuinely curious. It's crazy. Well, what's crazy is that that's crazy. That's not it's not crazy to be curious. Most people are curious, aren't they? Uh, no, not like you, because you you actually you you dig in and you really want to know. And I'm 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 now I'm so that's that's right. now now I'm going to say something that's not so nice, which is <clears throat> on this issue by the questions you're asking me, I can tell. You have no idea what's going on. Well, I kind of do, but you have to understand the way I do a show. Okay. One of the things that I do when I want you to elaborate on information, it's like maybe I know something, but I want you to elaborate so, to everybody else that's listening. So you pretend you don't know. I don't pretend I don't know. I just <laughs> ask you questions. I don't play stupid, mm. but I do ask questions like, please tell me more or elaborate or wh where did you come up with this or how do you know this for sure? Maybe I know how you know it for sure. But I want you to tell everybody. So that's what well, I said. The question was, that, that literally, that was the decision. So let's say if Donald Trump runs again in 2024 and they have a Trump campaign website, Google can decide that that website is of poor quality and deny people access to it so that when people go to Google Donald Trump, they will never see his website. Correct. That's wild. Well, they, they block access every day to several million websites. So it's not it's, this is not a rare thing that they do. And they block access based on their own decisions. Like they're internal. They don't have to justify them. They Correct. don't have to have a criteria that they can establish that they're doing the right thing. They, they just do it. And in the United States, there are no relevant laws or regulations in place to, to stop them. Do our regulators and do our elected officials even understand this? Is this something that is of concern to them? Has this been discussed? There are a couple of them who understand. Uh, the 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 uh, I know, uh, and there are a couple of the attorneys general whom I know who understand. Doug Peterson from Nebraska, he totally understands. Uh, Ted Cruz, he's he's he was behind my invitation to testify, you know, before Congress. Uh, a couple months later, he invited me to D.C. We sat down, had a four-hour dinner. Fabulous. We never stopped talking. Uh, and we never talked politics. We did not talk politics the whole time. We just talked tech. Uh, waited because I was done. And they started filing out. And one of them came up to me. I know exactly who it was. I know what state he was from. And he says, uh, Dr. Epstein, I, I, I hate to tell you this, but he said, I think you're going to die in an accident. Uh, within the next few months. And then he walked away. Now, I did not die in an accident in the next few months, but my wife did. Really? Yeah. So when this person said that to you, what, what does this person do? What shifts thinking and behavior... And, you know, what if all of these companies all favor the same party, right? which they do? What if all of these companies all favor the same candidate, which they do? You, 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 add, you, you, you add up these, these, these manipulations, and basically what Eisenhower predicted, it, it's, it's here now. <sighs> it's just that you can't give biased answers that shifts thinking and behavior. And, you know, what if all of these companies all favor the same party, right? which they do? What if all of these companies all favor the same candidate, which they do? You, you, add, you, you, you add up these, these, these manipulations, and basically what Eisenhower predicted, it, it's, it's here now. <sighs> it's just that you can't see it. You, you cannot, first of all, if, I'll give you an example. 2016, and I bet you Mark Zuckerberg has been kicking himself in the butt ever since. On election day, if Zuckerberg, with one click, if he had sent out go vote reminders just to Democrats that day, because you know, I mean, Trump won basically by what, 47,000 votes in four states? I mean, 
if if Zuckerberg had set up go vote reminders just to Democrats, and he knows who who the Democrats are, right? He could have generated that day four hundred and fifty thousand more votes for Hillary Clinton than she got. How do we know that? From Facebook's own published data, they published a study in two thousand twelve showing how they could get more people to vote in 2010 by sending out vote reminders. If you just take the data that they published and move it over to 2016 and say, okay, Mark, press the button, Hillary would have posi- absolutely won, won the election. He's, he, I'm sure to this day, is kicking himself because he didn't do it. But how would you know See, on any, any given day, any given election, how would you know whether that kind of reminder is going out, number one? And number two, who it's going to? Is it going to everybody? Or is it going just to a select group? Is it targeted? There's no way to know that unless you have monitoring systems in place. With a monitoring system, you would know, you would know within seconds or minutes if a targeted message like that was being sent out but if you had a targeted message like that, is that that's not illegal, right? Which is part of the problem. Like even if they did it publicly, and you said all we're doing is encouraging people to vote. Yeah, but what if it's going just to members of one party? Oh, I, I get it. But I mean, would they be obligated to send that to everybody? Or maybe they could use the excuse that it's only the people that are politically inclined. <laughs> idealistic person okay I've, I've 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 handed out tests of idealism in my classes when these are these are young people in their 20s okay and i i outscore them okay i have i've always outscored all of my students i'm very idealistic i believe in truth justice the american way like superman and you know all that crazy stuff but <clears throat> i i'm going to do my best to get people to wake up, okay. That that's why, I, that's why I said yes. I'm, okay, I'll give up a day of looking at my numbers. And I'm going to come and talk to you because I, I'm I am trying to get people to listen. I'm I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to get people to listen. People must people must listen. Well, let me put it another way: that monitoring system I keep talking about, that's not optional. Okay, that's not optional. That must be set up. If, if we don't set that up, we will have no clue. We will not understand not only why this person or that person won an election, we will not understand what's happening with our kids. And that's why, as I say, solving these problems is not optional. We must solve these problems. We must set up monitoring systems and and that, and it's relatively cheap by the way cuz now that we've done it you know repeatedly we know how to do it uh and if we don't we are essentially being controlled by big tech forever we 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 have we're turned over our democracy we've 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 turned over our children we've turned over literally our minds we've turned them over to <laughs> Tech companies and algorithms. What happened after the after that hearing was Trump tweeted about my my testimony. Hillary Clinton, whom I've been supporting forever, Hillary Clinton replies to Trump on Twitter and says, uh, "This man's work has been completely discredited. It's all based on data from twenty one undecided voters." What? What? Then she said that. Can you sue her? I, I, I could, I could have, I maybe, you know, but the, you know, it would take me away from the research. Uh, it would cost a fortune. Yes, I could have, and probably could still sue her. Yes, because that's a factual statement. Yeah, which is false and defamatory. But, that you're the only one. Well, I don't understand that because this is really good science. I mean, in, in, in other words, the. The work I do has been published in top journals. Uh, that, that, that initial SEAM paper, that was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. It has, 
since been downloaded or, ac or accessed from the National Academy of Sciences more than 100,000 times for, for a very technical scientific paper, that's practically unheard of. I've never had that happen before. And the, you know, the papers that I have coming out, they're in top journals. We're submitting more to top journals. This is good science. So why aren't 20 universities doing this stuff. You know why? Because they're getting funding from Google or they're terrified of Google. The, the nationwide system, uh, you know, and so, and so and now I'm going to point to my hat. So It says TameBigTech.com. Okay, good. That's could, your website? Could you say it again? TameBigTech.com. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you. Uh, 